I know I left off in the factory last time. But, you know, we're going to still fight Welder this episode. Maybe you did clinkers. I don't know. I'm going to set up for some stuff this episode as well. Let's, let's fight the boss. But, um, you know, I looked at my totals, like, right before I started this episode, and I'm missing, like, at least one Jinjo in, like, every single world except for two, and then I have all the gingers in this world, so that's kind of cool. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get up there. Oh, I thought I fell. Yeah, but now that this is, uh, now that we have it like that, we can, you know, get over here. I want to check, what am I missing? Uh, I think fire eggs work on this boss, but everyone I've seen uses grenade eggs. So, I'm gonna use grenade eggs. Because I know they work. I'm not, I'm not sure if uh, fire eggs work or not, I don't remember. I'm gonna see if I can get across this, because there's a cheetah page. Or you know I can just miss entirely, okay. <laughs> that works. Also, I'm closer to the TV, so it should look better. You should be able to hear it better as well. What on earth is that? I think it looks like an enormous toilet. <laughs> well, he doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how the poor thing struggles to get in here. This shouldn't be much trouble then. I believe it states quite clearly in the workers' guidelines that bears are not to be let into the facility or the building. So, well, you're a bear, aren't you? Er, uh, no. So, I must remember to wear my glasses. Well, I'm out now, so I might as well go to work on you. More? They, they go faster than grenade eggs? So... I'm, I'm gonna use them. Uh, first and the attack he will do his first and fourth attack is uh, the electricity. I swear it's one of the harder phases because you have to jump back and forth to dodge them, not just run around the arena. And then the uh, second and fifth attack are these nuts and bolts. The first one is the easiest. Because you can do whatever you want. And then after you kill the third one, uh, you get a health. You get health. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna run and do it again. Because I'm too close to this guy. And of course, you, you, you recede. He, send, he sends out. some more of these guys. I don't know if he gives me more health. Yeah, he does. Cool. This is probably the easier one because you won't take half your, you won't lose half your HP from, from hitting the electricity. And, uh, this third and sixth attack are he chases after you. And he just went to jump away. And then after a certain amount of, a while of time, he will uh, jump to the center of the room, and the camera will show it, and at that point, you he will try to eat you. Um, after, and then after three hits, he will start his second phase. It makes the floor electricity go cold. And basically, if you just so happen to be on a line, that becomes electrical. Lily, I'd rather take you the hit there because if you don't, you will lose about all the rest of your HP. I'm gonna use a uh, golden feathers here because I really don't care at this point, so. 
yeah, that, that actually worked out really well. Uh, last attack, uh, he jumps at you again. Here, I think it's easier to stay kind of, like, in, inside a little bit, but, you know, if you have HP at this point, uh, at this point, you want to kind of stay here, and you want to get ready for this, because he will, uh, I think it's worth taking the damage, and I'm really happy that I just beat him, actually, so, it's like, oh, well, looks like my welding days are over. And I forgot Welder's voice. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, his head he hits the electrical box, and it makes these spinning things stop spinning, so you can get yourself a Cheeto page and a well-deserved chicken. Because you probably spent the last 20 minutes of your life fighting this guy. Either that or I'm just that unlucky. Yeah, I don't know. But that stops the fan as well, so now I can go to that one room and then we can actually talk to Welder. Ugh. I appear to be quite badly injured. <laughs> That's too bad. Now, where's our prize? Ugh. I guess I can let you have this. Ooh. That's nice. Is that all we get? You gotta be kidding. You may use it to get back out. I stashed my jiggy behind the giant fan for safekeeping. But there's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. Oh, when will I learn to keep my big mouth shut? Now you can actually talk to him again. Like with Lord Blue Fact Pack. And he's all like, look what you've done to me. I'm in a rather lot of pain. No, tell me the one about the repairman. No, sh tell me about the repairman. I don't suppose you can recommend a decent repairman. Yeah, um, actually, um, uh, if you hit Lord Wu Fat Fat after you kill him, um, then he'll talk to you, and it's kind of funny, but it's also very cruel because you're kind of disturbing a grave. I guess I don't know. Also, there's a ladder here. I don't, I don't even see it, but I know there's a ladder there. This is a long ladder, it's like Metal Gear. Metal Gear! I don't know how it goes. I don't know how they say it in the games or whatever. The only Metal Gear game I've... Metal Gear Solid game I've played... Is, uh... This one's still rather tricky because... You know, you're, you're never on a straight angle. This is the third Cheeto page. Or it could be the first, if you fight Welder first. Which I would say technically you can do. And if you really wanted to, you could keep Welder to be the first Jiggy that you got. You have to do a whole bunch of crap, though. To, uh, if you fall off this thing, you end up down in some toxic stuff down there. And you can get out. But it's a pain. Don't go down there with the washer, because you will basically never get out at that point. So, you know... Don't miss this jiggy either. Yay, I got it! That didn't negate any damage. What are you lying? What are you smoking? Are you smoking grass? Even though that looked like a clockwork egg. Except it wasn't. Also, uh... This is the other side of that one... pool where I saw the jiggy. So now... I would say I can get the Jiggy now, but I can't actually, because it's down there, and no matter how hard I try, I can't get down there until we go to Hellfire Peaks, which is the next level, actually, so that's kind of cool to know. No, I gotta leave! Actually, no, I'm not gonna leave. I gotta cut, I gotta trim some stuff off the front. I had to trim some stuff off of uh, the end of the last little cut and the beginning of this cut. And I thought I fell to my death. Uh, let's go do some stuff on floor four. I don't know if I'm going to just set up for the clinkers or if I'm going to do them. 
because the clinkers are a pain in the butt. And... But, uh, you know that one time where I went into the, uh, the one room on the side of the wall and then I said I'm not going to do this yet? Yeah, we're gonna go do that now. Uh, you remember that one time where I found the spring jump pad? And I thought, uh, what do I use this for? That's how you get Kazooie up there by herself. Because there's another battery, wouldn't you know? And then there's a pipe over here that we can, uh, climb on. Uh, there are two Jiggies around here. One of them... is... Actually, we want to open that. Uh, there's the clinkers up there, I think, and then there's something that has to do with wires. This one, you want to open this, because if you don't, you can't get Banjo up here by himself. Actually, wait, let me think. I can do the clinkers right now if I, if I recall. Yeah, let's do that now, why not? Sewer access. Yay, another first person segment. This, you want to use fire eggs or grenade eggs. There is a uh, alternate form that makes it so you have uh, unlimited fire eggs, actually. That's very helpful for this part here, so. But I'm not going to use that throughout the game. I should have shown it, I should have at least shown it though, so. Oops. Yeah, you can hold up to like 50 fire eggs. <laughs> Attention, the clinkers have invaded the sewer system and are blocking the vents. Neutralize them before the air becomes toxic. Yeah, uh, memorize where to go, but I haven't. Man, and it sucks, because there's a whole bunch of passages that you never knew about. And there's another 12 of them in there, the passage that you never knew about. But then there are like, five in a passage that you never explored because you keep forgetting it's there. Worrying about the other ones, and I just got regular eggs on accident. I don't even think regular eggs work on this. Yeah, I'm gonna go in here for once. This is that one room that I was in a minute ago. Cool. There are a whole bunch of these, like, above doorways. So, like, you'd never expect them. Like this area here, actually, this is where the one that I was missing was, right there. So... You know, there it was. And where does this passage take me? Oh, I'm right next to one. Ew, ew, ew. You know, I never went up here because I could never figure out how to get up here. I'm probably right next to this one, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around the borders of this one. Ow! Stop it, Tin Top! I'm not doing this nearly as fast as I'd like to be, but... You know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Yeah, there's one up there. That one's mean. Also, I think I know where all the rest of them are. Actually, I know where all the rest of them are. I just need to get there. Hopefully I can do this right. Ow. Ow. I'm 
kind of pissed off if they kill me. Ha! <laughs> I got this in the bag. <gasps> oh, crap. You know what? That one is uh, up here. Yeah, right in there. Oh, I did it. I am so very happy that I did that. Oh, my gosh. Holy crap. Yeah, you know what that bonus is? It's a jiggy. That's probably one of the jiggies that everyone really hates about this, so... Uh, about this game, really. But, uh, I think... That there's gonna be a jiggy worse, because it has to do with timing. Ow. I'm gonna be sad if I die in here. I gotta find a way out of here. So, you know. Okay, I know where I am. Alright, go this way. Seriously, when you're done with this thing, you will have memorized, like, the maze itself. Kitty wants something. I don't know what it is, though, because, you know, she has food and she has water. I'm not sure exactly what she wants. I'll spend 49 jiggies. Take that. I should have, like, more than this because I missed some jiggies, like, in, uh... Because I've missed some jiggies in, uh... In rooms. And then, yeah, this is where you need to bring a battery. Uh, I would say we'll do that next time. Well, I don't know, because it's only been a X amount of minutes. You know what, I'm not, I'm not gonna cut this out. Gotta find out how to get out of here, though. It's over here somewhere. didn't help me at all. Kitty. Uh. Cat. What's wrong? Meow. Meow. What is in the closet, kitty? sad for my cat because she's like trying to claw at the wall or something. I don't know what she wants. What do you want, kitty? Meow. Kitty. Okay, hold on a second, guys. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My cat just wanted some attention. Sleep for a little bit here. Hold on. That's pretty good. Um, now I gotta go to the second floor, pick up that battery. Oh, it starts me on the second floor. And then I can warp to the, uh, fourth floor. You know, after I get this battery. But, uh, they put that spring jump pad there for Kazooie. And I don't know why I'm going this way. This might be a part that I speed up a little bit. No, 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 no. What am I doing? I just need to go to where that worker was. And that worker was in the room with the tin house. So, gotta pee in the area. Two ways to go! I never noticed that. You can't get me. Yeah, don't go this way. You don't have to use this shaft to get over here, but I'm just gonna do it because it's easier. See, look how happy he is. And I was expecting him to take damage there, really, so... You can't touch me. I just did the clinkers. You probably don't want to touch me. I'm all dirty. Let me find you. There it is. Over there. Yeah, there's a life battery right there. No! There we go. Alright, now we can uh, work to floor 4. And then after we put the battery in, technically we can take Banjo and just go meet him up with Kazooie. Or, uh, we could, uh, actually, you technically don't need to, uh, activate the... You don't need to activate the other now that I think about it, because, because, uh... Hey, where's Mumbo's? Down here, maybe? 
Yep. Technically, I don't think you need to activate the elevator because you just warp there and then walk there if I'm correct. The elevator just... Well, I would say it makes it easier, but well, I don't know. It's, you can just walk along this way and then do that if you really wanted to. I guess that's faster. Maybe. I'm not sure. Because I'm probably going to be speeding up this walking part. Holy crap, does this take a while. I wonder what would happen if you would have came here with like just Banjo just doing step on that switch and you, were, and you ran out of time by the time you got there. How pissed off would you have been? Because <laughs> like... That's the elevator. Okay, where's the thing at? Where? Oh, well, it's not there. I love how the fourth floor has little floors of its own, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna get over it that way. I can just walk to the, uh, the right. If I wanted to... Yeah, I could do it right like that. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, uh... Now... God, I gotta get back here with Kazooie. And... Just press A. Jeez. This shouldn't take nearly as long with Kazooie because she walks so fast. But um, I probably will speed it up because I'm probably I might die. Also, Kazooie just decided to sit down, even though I pressed A or, or Z. Yeah, that's what it was. Can I get rid of the player maybe a little bit? I guess that's a little bit. Too. Yeah, see, look how much faster Kazooie is. You know, I guess she's a bird. She's supposed to go fast. Oh yeah, in this box over here, there's like three health. There's like three honeycombs if you need them. And at this point, I probably do because Kazooie is kind of I was fragile. But she didn't have anything health wise, so yeah, that just uh, let me in here. Awesome. I'm just gonna do this part. Actually, I think. Um, this next part here, uh, it's really annoying. Don't ask me how I got through that, I swear. Or it was like a miracle. I think you have to use grenade eggs for this, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm gonna see if ice eggs work. You know, no, I'm gonna use grenade eggs. I can't see the floor, no! There are these rare barrels that you wanna- I pressed the exact wrong, wrong button. There's actually a Jinjo. No, it's a Minjo, sorry. You wanna hit the rare barrels. You know, it's funny, because you think you'd be hitting the opposite one. I swear this one probably take you a while if you know the timing. You wanna hit it like an inch away or whatever, I don't even know. If you hit the uh, if you hit the toxic barrel, you have to run outside and get a fan. So So, you know. I swear that I am not good at this at all. I'm getting lucky. Uh, if you screw up, you have to uh, you have to go outside and hit a button that makes a fan appear. And I'm amazed. Wow, I am like getting a too late, man. Wow. There we go, jeez. Yeah, it starts doing this. And this is the part where you want to run. You want to run. This is nightmarish breathing noises. These are nice nightmarish breathing noises. Nightmarish, nightmarish, nightmarish. Oh yeah, that, that's really scary. Especially because those breathing noises are like, whoa, the room just lit up there. Are you want to stop on that and air it out? Um, this, I don't think it resets. Because if it does, I'm going to be sitting here all day. So, you know, I don't want to be doing that, to tell you the truth. And then the jiggy appears on the other side of the conveyor belt. And I think the way you're supposed to get it is, uh, you're supposed to bring a washing machine over there. I think, though, that you can, uh, use a regular... Oh, man. I think you can use, I think you can lob a, um, a clockwork egg over there, though, so... I'm not sure. I I'm gonna die in this cable room. I love how the room gets rid of all the shiny colors and it's just a white room when you get hit. So, a regular white room, a regular... Quarantine room. And I just shot that so early. Seriously, those breathing effects are nightmarish. I'm gonna speed up this part, probably. Or at least, you know, these failures. I'm not gonna be able to come out, because I've already recorded it for like 10 minutes, so. For the segment, at least. So. Yes! Yeah, see, it's over there. I'm gonna see if it's possible to. to. to do this. Why seriously have to bring a washing machine over there? Because that's so much trouble. I don't even remember where the washing machine is. Okay, what do I want to, to maybe get this right? Maybe there. Where is the thing? Where is it? There it is! Haha! <laughs> Screw you, washing machine! Ha! <laughs> ha! Awesome! Um, yeah, there's a- look at our totals now, look at our totals. Yeah, we're missing, uh, one Jiggy, and I know where that is, and I am so happy that we're basically done. We're, we're done with Grunty Industries. We- we are done. Seriously, I'm gonna go to Pterodactyl Land, see what I can finish up in there, and then I'm gonna go unlock the next few worlds. I think I can... Um... Ah, uh, um...
What all am I actually missing? Here, let me think for a second. Where am I? Oh yeah, I remember where I am. At this point, I can kill myself. Or, you know, just do that. Uh, really, now, I can, uh, just go to Pterodactyl Land and see what I can finish up there. I, actually, I want to, uh, do, uh, some jiggies. I want to see what jiggies I can, uh, I can grab that I've missed over these past few episodes, or at over, like, over the, over a bunch of the worlds, because I missed a Jinjo in, uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in Jolly Roger Lagoon, and I don't know which one I missed, so, yeah. Yeah, we should. I should probably go get a health upgrade from a honeybee. I think I can do that right now. Where is the train station? Oh, it's down here, cheese. Alright, where's the. Uh, there it is. Uh, Alright. And then there are also uh, two G two Jinjos that I missed in uh, Isla Hags, but I know where they are. So, or one of them, I know where it is, but I don't know. I don't remember where exactly it is, but I know where it is. You know, it's in that tunnel that I can't find. So, you know. And then the other one is uh, you need claw climber boots to get to it. We can do that now. We can do a whole bunch of stuff in here now. I think. I don't remember what jiggies I'm missing in any of the worlds, which sucks, which really, really sucks. Uh, I'm right next to the door, dude. There we go, jeez. Okay, guys, next time on more Let's Play Banjo Tooie, we will um, probably see what we can get. Um, I'm probably gonna try and wipe some things out. I'm, I'm probably gonna try and get some stuff that I missed before I go to Hellfire Peaks. So, you know. But, you know, we're gonna get some stuff in here first, though, so. Next time, we're, we're gonna clean some stuff up. Not with the washing machine. We're gonna get stuff that we missed, I guess. So, see you guys then. Bye-bye!